To protect and serve, sometimes you have to adapt. That's what the Carroll County Sheriff's Department had to do this morning. They lost power Sunday, just like hundreds of thousands of others, and began running on a generator. But around 2.30, that 30-plus-year-old generator died, leaving them temporarily in the dark and out of touch. We ran on batteries for a little while, and then we went into a, a complete failure and had to break out the communications trailer and bring it out and get set up to continue business. What they did was run a power cord from one of these two generators through that second floor window, plugged it into the phone system, and that gave power to the phone bank inside the building. Emergency calls were handled out of Conway, while Carroll County dispatchers grabbed these walkie-talkies. Once we got the phones back up and running, we uh, were able to use portable radios to communicate from inside the building where the telephones were out here to the, to the radios. So we had ended up having two people inside handling the telephone calls and two people out here running the radio. Using this makeshift system, the Sheriff's Department was able to handle almost 200 calls from the 38 local towns that rely on them for dispatch services. For what they had, uh, they made it work and uh, I commend the uh, dispatchers for thinking on their feet and getting the job done. Sheriff Richardi says he learned two things. One, with good people, you can do anything. And second, they may need to invest in longer lasting batteries and a new generator. In Ossipee, Andy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9.